Whoever lives next door to me has their phone alarm going off and I can hear it through the walls. So hopefully it's not picking up on my camera too loud. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am back with my January Ipsy unbagging. Um, it came really late as usual, I'm not surprised anymore. It has been coming pretty late for the last few months. Um, but I'm still excited that I got it and let's dig in and see what I got this month. So the first thing in my bags are um, some reward items that I redeemed with my points rewards. So I'm really excited for these. I picked up two Lime Crime Velveteens liquid lipsticks. And I've never tried Lime Crime liquid lipsticks before. And these are um, metallic ones and they're in the shades Mercury and Lana. So why don't we open them and then swatch them to see what they look like. I love how on the top of the packaging, I don't know if you guys can see right there, it says makeup for unicorns. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> so the first one I got is called Mercury and you can see from the tube it's kind of like a frosted light lavender color and I'm really excited to see what this looks like. So the wand is just a typical lip gloss wand. Whoa. This is really like a unique color. I wonder what it's going to look like on my lips, but there's the swatch right there. It's like a really metallic frosty lavender. I think it'll be fun for like a intergalactic look or some kind of like galaxy look. It'll be fun to try on. I'm glad I have this in my collection. It's so unique. Mm, they smell like vanilla frosting too. They smell exactly like cake. So the next one is in the shade Lana and it's more like a bronzy metallic color. So let's swatch it and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, these are really, really pretty. I'm really happy I got a chance to pick these up. So this is the swatch of Lana on the bottom. It's more like a bronzy color. It's really, really pretty. So I'm going to let these dry and then later on in the video I'm going to rub them and see if they transfer. So the last reward item I was able to pick up was a Luxie blending brush and this is a, I believe it's just an eyeshadow blending brush and it's like a rose gold barrel and it's cute and pink and just so fluffy. So yeah, I was excited to pick this up as well. Before I get into my January Ipsy bag, I just want to say really quickly, I have a lot of information in the description box down below about the prices of um, the Ipsy subscriptions for US and Canadian citizens. I also list all the products I get down below with the prices for the size of the samples that I receive so that you can have an accurate um, description or an accurate total of the value of my bag for each month. So be sure to check that out and if you have any more questions just please leave a comment down below and I'll answer them. So this is the bag for January. So it's a really nice um, like a pale blue steel color and it's got like another layer through the hole so you can see like a little silver peeking underneath. So the theme for this month is Metropolis and as usual they never really have much um, useful information on the back of the cards so I don't really keep them um, but yeah I just do my own research and I let you guys know all the prices of the items down below. So the first thing I got actually didn't fit inside my bag because it was too large, but this is a pair of tweezers from the company The Vintage Cosmetics. The packaging is really, really cute. If you look at that floral pattern, it's so me. And I like how the tweezers are rose gold. I'm just a little, um, just a tiny bit disappointed just because they are a pair of tweezers and it's just something that I can pick up on my own in the stores. but. I think the packaging kind of makes it a little better because they look really really cute and I'm excited to try these out and see if they're any good. Okay so finally getting into the bag I have four more items in here and the second item I have is this is a FUN nail lacquer so it's a nail polish by the company called FUN. Ooh, This is a really pretty color. So it's like a nice shimmery gold color. Um, it looks like it might be pretty sheer. I might have to do a base coat before I apply this on top of any nail polish, but it looks really pretty and I think it'll look really nice on my nails. 
So the third item in my bag is bubble wrapped. So let's open it and see what I got. So this is what it looks like. It's a really nice bronzy shade. And this is what the product looks like. I actually just went on my Ipsy account and I saw that this was advertised as a 3-in-1 um, product. So you can use it as eyeshadow, blush, and highlight, I believe. So let's swatch it and see what it looks like. Ooh, it's really pretty. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's right there underneath my lip swatches. It's like a really nice uh, rose gold kind of like bronzy color. I don't know if I'm going to use it as... Maybe I will try to use it as highlight um, and eyeshadow, but I don't think I would use it as blush. Um, but I think it would be a really pretty eyeshadow and highlighter. So the next item in my bag is... This is a Jelly Pong Pong Lip Scrub. It's a coffee and coconut lip scrub. This is cool. I actually don't usually use lip scrubs, but I've been wanting to try them. So I'm really excited I got this. Let's see if it smells good. So this is what the lip scrub looks like. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells more coconutty than coffee. Mmm, but yeah, just knowing that it's coconut and coffee, it kind of like makes me feel like it would be something that would wake me up so like in the morning I could just use this on my lips before I head out. I'm excited to try this out. And the very last thing in my bag is... This is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream SPF 35. And it's like a little sample size of Smashbox's BB Cream. So that's really nice. I usually don't use BB cream. Um, I just use straight up foundation. But let's see if this matches my skin tone. So I just put a little bit on my hand and it already looks like it has a yellow undertone which is awesome because that's how my skin is. Let's see if it matches when I rub it in. Oh, this is actually a really good match. So I'm not going to rub it in anymore. I just want to show you guys. Um, it's kind of like here I don't know if you can tell but it's a pretty good match to my skin tone so that's awesome I was really worried that it would be too light or too dark for me and I wouldn't be able to try out this product at all but it works and it's like a very light coverage so it'll be good for like those natural days where I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup yay okay so I promised you guys to see if um, these liquid lipsticks transfer or not so I think they're just about dry so let's see if they transfer they didn't seem to transfer as much so that's awesome I'm so excited to have these in my collection so that was everything I got in my ipsy bag for the month of January so I ended up getting a nail polish a pair of tweezers some BB cream a highlighter slash eyeshadow and a lip scrub so I think this was a really good bag this month. There's a lot of variety of different items that I got. Um, I don't have an item that I actually hate <laughs> this month. Like I don't have any lip balms or hand lotions. Also the point reward items that I redeemed this month were amazing. I got two full size liquid lipsticks and a brush. So once again, please check the description box down below to see the total prices of all the items I received. Um, the total value of my bag this month was crazy. I think it was including the reward items i think it was a value of around 160 dollars canadian and ipsy cost me 20 dollars a month so i think that's amazing um just because i got the reward items as well but even without the reward items i think my bag came to a total value of around 90 dollars so this month was a really good bag so if you're interested please check the description box down below for more info Please like this video if you liked it with a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!